Hey guys, thanks for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review on the Lorac and Pirates of the Caribbean eyeshadow palette. So if you're interested to see my thoughts on this palette right here, then please keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump in. Packaging is the first thing I look at, obviously. Um, and I really do appreciate the packaging of this palette. It's very fitting. It has the compass right here. I love the gold reflex and I love the kind of like space themed background. Mm -hmm. um, and I also really like that it's not just a typical square rectangular palette. It has really cool edges. And one little added bonus is that it has like a little side compartment right here so you can like throw eyeliners in there or something like that if you're traveling. Um, and I also really like the fact that it's not, like you can definitely tell it's Pirates of the Caribbean. It says Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's not huge in your face. The first thing you look at is the packaging and not the title. So I really can appreciate that. Um, opening up the palette, this is what it looks like right off the bat. I do like the color scheme that they have going on. I like the colors. <laughs> Sorry, I used this today to do my makeup, so it's a little dusty. But as I was saying, um, I do like the colors that they picked. There was an eyeliner that came with it. I love the eyeliner. Um, the mirror is really big, and again, it says Pirates of the Caribbean up at the top. The mirror is a really, really nice mirror. Um, I really appreciate when palettes put mirrors in that are the size of the palette. That's a big A plus to me. But um, so now on to the quality of the eyeshadows. I really do like the shimmer shades. I'll swatch some here for you guys. Okay, so to be honest, I really like the shimmer shades of this palette. These are the swatches of them. All the swatches are no primer, just one swipe on my skin, and that's it. Um, but I really do like these. The color payoff is great. They are nice and pigmented. I have yet to play around with the um, darkest two shimmer shades, but as far as I know, the lighter ones are pretty nice. I've done a couple different looks with these um, for work, but I do like the shimmer shades. I also like that there's a different variety. You have the blue, the green, the reddish brown, the almost duochrome one here in the middle. You have a light shimmer shade, you have a silvery one, and you have black. So there's a really, really nice combination of shimmer shades, and they work better. I will say this, they work better if you use your finger to apply them to your lid rather than a brush. Um, if you do want to use a brush, I highly recommend using just like a flat eyeshadow brush and then using um, either like Max Fix Plus or even if you just wet your brush with a little bit of water, you can even dip it on your tongue. Just get it a little bit wet. It's going to make the colors a little bit more intense than just putting it on with a dry brush. Um, but yeah, so I like the shimmer shades. Again, as always, if you use something wet, um, for a shimmer shade, it will intensify it, but I do like how they swatch like this. This is how they come out on your eyelid if you use your finger, because I just use my finger. But with a brush, um, they do not come out as good. But overall, I really, really like the shimmer shades, so that is a big A plus for me. And now, let's move on to the matte shades. So right off the bat, you guys can tell that the matte shades did not swatch as well as the shimmer shades. And I think that happens a lot with eyeshadow just because shimmer versus matte is like two different worlds. They're completely different formulas, completely different consistencies, and serve completely different purposes. So I can understand why they didn't swatch as well. However, I would have liked them to swatch better. This is the same way that I swatched the shimmer shades. Just one swipe on the arm and that was it. However, you can see I went back and I did re-swatch one of the black shades shades and one of the kind of would be transition shades I think I can't remember because I already whipped them off but um, so yeah they did not swatch as well I will say I do like the different colors of matte shades in the palette I think they um, did something kind of special here with this light blue and the purpley brown um, however I do wish that they would have put in a nice transition shade if that makes sense like what I've been using for a transition shade is this one right here, Pirate's Chest. And to be honest with you, I normally go in with something like Coco Bear from Makeup Geek, which is a much warmer, richer, darker brown than Pirate's Chest is. It's not a dark brown, but it's just darker. Um, because if you really wanted to do like a warm eye look with this, I tried my best today, um, you kind of can't because there's no warm, warm brown in this palette, and a lot of people love their warm brown eye looks. 
on one of them. But so I've been using a lot of pirate's chests, a lot of tell no tales just to darken up my crease and try and make something warm brown, but this is very, very purple, so it doesn't work. Um, and then the other brown shade that's in here is Arg, which is a very, very dark brown, and it's also a shimmery shade, so if you want that matte dark brown in your crease, you just can't have it. So you have to dip into another palette or another eyeshadow or something like that. So I really wish I would have put one of those in the palette, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, <clears throat> and then the other thing that I will say about this palette is I just really wish the mattes were better. I've heard a lot, um, a lot of reviews, like even on the Pro Mega palettes, that the mattes just aren't that great like they're just watered down versions of the previous palette and I kind of have to say I do like these feel watered down they don't feel pigmented um, I I even used Lost at Sea on my lid yesterday which is that really really pity pity that really pretty light blue and when I applied it to my lid I used my finger it really went on beautifully um, however it didn't stay on and it was kind of hard to blend out with what was in my crease which was kind of that um, tell no tales purpley mauvey color which is this one right here and yeah it was hard to blend out you would pack and then you would really lightly with your, with your feather I was gonna say feather with your brush you would try and kind of just blend your crease a little bit so it doesn't look like just a streak of eyeshadow and let me tell you I definitely had to work with it so I wouldn't really say that the lighter shades are blendable um, you can blend them away very easily but you can't like pack and blend them because with you packing and blending you're actually just gonna be taking away from what's already laid down um, so I will say that I wasn't a huge fan of the mattes on the lid um, because once I did get to where I wanted it to be, by the end of doing my makeup, it was like a completely different color. Like I blinked off the really pretty light blue and then you were kind of seeing a little bit of Tell More, Tell No Tales, which was um, that purpley mauvey color and you saw that how it was kind of down a little bit lower than my crease and you saw how that was partially on my lid. And I just really wish that the, um, the blue shade stayed on a lot longer than it did. Um, because I do my eye makeup first and then I do my face makeup and by the time I was done with my face makeup It was pretty much gone and I had to reapply and then I had to fix my eyeliner because I got the blue eyeshadow in my eyeliner So it was just kind of a mess if that makes sense, but um Yeah, so these shimmers are definitely better than the matte shades in my opinion They swatch better they go on better and they're almost a little bit more blendable if that makes sense You can blend them up into your crease like I did today my, my eye makeup today probably took like maybe 10 minutes it's nothing fancy of course um, today I used pirates chest tell no tales and compass which is that gold shade right up top and yeah I really like how it turned out so you can definitely make looks with this you just have to pick and choose the colors that you want and you have to have a strategy if that makes sense so yeah overall I don't know if this palette is really worth the 50 bucks or whatever that it was but um, I will say there are, I think, more shimmer shades than matte shades if the, in the palette, if that persuades you anymore. So completely up to you. This is not an everyday palette for me. I bought this solely for the fact that it's Pirates of the Caribbean, and I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I can't wait for the movie to come out. So just for a quick overview on everything that I just said, long story short, I like the packaging. I like the mirror. I love the shimmer shades. I like the eyeliner pencil that it came with. And the only thing, my only dislikes are the quality of the matte shadows in this palette. If you are looking for some fun new shimmer shades, I think this would be a fun palette to buy but if you're a girl who does all matte I would stay away from this um, if you just love Pirates of the Caribbean go ahead and get it because I'm pretty sure that this is limited edition I don't know why they would keep it all the time but um, yeah so that's my honest opinion it's not an everyday palette for me uh, just based on the colors I really wish they would have put a matte brown warmer darker shade in it but that's okay that's because I have a slew of warm brown makeup over here but yeah so that is my honest opinion I really hope this guy this guide isn't really a guide it's a review I really hope this review helps you guys to make a decision if you're on the fence or not um, leave me any questions or comments down below I'll be more than happy to further discuss this palette with you guys but that's it for now thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you have a great day 
Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!